Hey, it's Chris, and today we're doing a three-month review of the 16-inch MacBook Pro. I picked up the 2.4GHz 8-core processor, 32 gigs of RAM, 1TB hard drive, and the 5500M GPU. I stuck with the base 1TB because once I'm done with a project, I back it up instantly. So that way, having a lot of storage isn't really that necessary, and the upgraded graphics card was essential because it really helps with encoding in Premiere Pro. So why do I need such a powerful laptop? Well, my day-to-day -day job is producing videos for a real estate agent, so I need a machine that's portable, powerful, reliable, and can handle a 4K workflow. When it comes to these tasks, the MacBook Pro smashes all of them. It handles my Sony and DJI files perfectly, and time-conscious effects like warp stabilizer are done in no time. However, there is one thing I really hate about this laptop, and it is the noise. The fans drive me nuts. When it comes to the speakers, everything you've heard about them is true. They're incredible, they sound better than any laptop speaker out there, they even put the Logitech speakers I have hooked up to my PC to shame. The built-in microphone is good, but it definitely does not replace a decent standalone USB or XLR microphone. And the webcam, well let's just say it's not very good at all. The keyboard, well this was the make or break for most people when it came to this laptop. I think it's fantastic. It reminds me a little bit of the keyboard that I had on my XPS, but with a little less travel. So far, I haven't had any missed keys or double taps. When it comes to the touch bar, I do really like it, but I do miss physical media keys, and I think it excels the most when apps take full advantage of it. Now the main change to the MacBook Pro lineup was the 16 inch screen and it's absolutely fantastic. It's got great colors, the resolution is good. It's not 4K, but text and images are crystal clear. The trackpad is amazing, there's nothing like it. It's absolutely huge, it's responsive, and the gestures work great with apps and the OS. Speaking of OS, Catalina is fantastic. It's fast and responsive, I love AirDrop, and I love that my Apple Watch logs me in when I open it. There have been bugs, but Apple has released plenty of software updates which seem to have fixed any bugs I've come across. AirPlay is another great feature. If you've got an AirPlay 2 enabled device, like a smart TV, you can share your screen over to that or extend your desktop. One thing I did notice is you can't use Sidecar and AirPlay at the same time. So Sidecar, I'll be honest, I haven't used this feature too much. I found it more of a distraction than a tool to increase productivity. Yes, it's great to have a second display with touch features, but switching between the pencil and my mouse isn't comfortable. I've also found it to be a huge battery drain, so what I'd recommend doing is searching on YouTube about this feature, as many channels have covered it in detail. Battery life is very important, and this laptop shines in this department. In the real world, when I'm working on videos, I can get at a push 4 hours of battery life. For general day-to-day -day tasks like emails, web browsing, or watching videos, I've got around 9 hours of runtime. Now let's talk about something that's controversial for Apple, and that's ports. For a pro product, this only has four Thunderbolt 3 ports and a headphone jack. So to get around this, I used my Hyperdrive USB-C hub, which was meant for my iPad Pro. I also picked up a UHS-2 SD card reader, because that extra bit of speed really does speed up my workflow. But these days, most things come as USB-C, and if they don't, you can buy any cable to a USB-C connector, and they're so cheap. This is essentially what I've done. I have about five or six cables which all go to USB-C, and they work just as good as the original cables. So to conclude, am I happy with this laptop? Yes, very much. It was very expensive, I'm not going to deny that, but the power it gives, the build quality, and the whole package has been perfect for me. The only one issue I have now is, do I keep my iPad Pro? Because right now, it's just a paperweight. So thanks for watching, and I hope you like this video. If it's helped in any way, hit that thumbs up. If you have a question, Feel free to leave a comment and please subscribe.